Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, yeah, so we're just gonna be going over breeding the Lotus genus, which is um, a type of darkling beetle. So yeah, let's just go over them and start. Let's take a look at. I have three Lotus species right now, so let's just take a look at them. If this ever comes out, okay, here we go. This is my first one. I only have three because I shipped off a lot of them last week. If you looked at my previous videos. Um, you know I had a lot more, but I shipped them all off. So this is the first one. He's actually in pretty bad condition. He's missing a leg and all his antennas. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but he actually has a very faint red stripe down his back. Yeah. I'm just going to show you them first, and then we'll talk about breeding. Okay, see these are mating, but I just messed them up. So that's the first kind I have. They're the... They're the middle species uh, when it comes to size. Next, let's take a look at here these. I only have two of these left. These are my favorite ones. They were also the biggest ones. So I put them in a smaller cage. And they've been mating all day, actually. So that's pretty cool. So they're there. As you can see, they actually have a brighter red stripe, and they're a little bit bigger, and they're shinier. They're also not pointed on the edges. They're not like a triangle. They're more round. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. So yeah, those. that's the first. The second one, those are the biggest ones. And yeah, like I said, that I don't have as many, nearly as many as I used to, because I shipped them all off to... A guy that, of course, paid me. But yes, I shipped them all off. Actually, I actually have a blue death mating beetle in there, but he's not the lotus species. Okay, and now the next one. These guys. Let me pull them out. He's actually got an egg stuck to, him, st stuck to himself. I don't know if y'all can see that, but he's got a little white dot right there. That's actually an egg, so that's not good. So let's just take a look at him real quick. Let me pull um, the other one. I only have two. So let me grab this one. So yeah. As you can see, he's a little bit smaller. But I like them all. They still have a stripe on them. So yeah, there's a male and a female in there. I know for sure. The other ones, there's a male and a female in there. And in this one, there's two males and a female. So yeah, let's talk about breeding. So let's start with the smallest one because I actually bred these before. I've had them long enough to where I bred them. Oh, these boxes are complicated to get out. And care as well. So yeah, uh, right here, I don't know if y'all can see them, but there's... a a couple little white dots here and there. Yeah, a little white dot right there. That is an egg. But my phone does not want to focus. Let's just give it a minute. And there's one right there. There's a bunch right there. Oh, okay, there we go. We can see now. Yeah, there's a bunch right there. There's one on this little stick. So, yeah, the lotus is actually a desert species as we all know or I don't know if you know but they are a desert species and the trick is to get into breed laying eggs is they only lay eggs when it rains in the wild so pretty much just keep your tank really moist but um, sand doesn't really do that as well so I decided to give them a forest substrate instead rotting decaying wood like something you give your ground beetle or something something like that and it worked perfectly. Um, I found actually a couple eggs in loose substrate, but I just left them there. I don't know if they're still there where they're at. So yeah. Um, these guys, you don't have to really water them. They get most of their food from, I mean, water from their food. So I just put a, a banana or two in there. <clears throat> and they just sit there and munch off of it. Whenever it gets moldy and it's not good anymore, just throw it out and put a new one in. Yeah, so just keep this moist. And the legs here and there. You just keep out for them. 
Uh, I think they tend to like to lay eggs on wood like that. This is actually hard. It's not rotten at all. The rest, the rest of this wood in here is all rotten. I can break it easily. Well, that's not a rotten piece. But this one is very rotten. This stuff, these leaves. Most of the stuff in here is decaying matter, but some of it's not. So you have the lotus. I don't know. I can't remember what that one is. Let's move on to the next one. Damn it. Sorry about that. Okay. So these guys are a little bit bigger, as we know. And as you can see, that one's actually chowing down on a banana. So these guys are a little more tricky to breed. Uh, they don't like, they do like, you You do the same, everything the same, including the banana. Except to get these guys to lay eggs, you actually, I my best method that I've found so far is just putting a napkin in there. This, this is just blue sand, ignore that. Just putting a napkin in there and keeping it really moist all the time. So later, like once every day, and they'll go and they'll lay the eggs there. I don't have any eggs currently because I just don't have any eggs. Or there's chances they may lay them in loose substrate, but there's higher chances they're going to put them in the napkin instead. So yeah, this is a Lotus Saturilius. Yeah, I think that's how it's pronounced on that positive. And the bigger ones that are a little bit shinier, um, they have, they, they're more versatile. They'll do it like the smaller a lotus species, they'll uh, just put it on wood and stuff. You can do the napkin too, it'll actually work, but yeah, I'll just do wood because it's easier, I think, because the napkin may mold. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, peace out, like, and subscribe.